In this lesson, we are going to be solving for sides in a triangle. It is important that you already understand the basics of using sin, cos, and tan. So if you are not, then I would recommend you go watch the earlier lessons in this playlist where, or this chapter where you can see all the basics of how we use Sokotoa. Okay, so let's quickly remind you what Sokotoa means. Uh, just as a recap, so we know that sin stands for opposite over hypotenuse. And that's where we see the SOH, SOH. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's where we see the CAH. Okay. And then tan is opposite over adjacent. And so that's the TOA. So TOA. And so let's see how this works. So we always start by going Sokotoa. And the goal of this question is to work out what this is. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the angle that they've given you, which is this one over here. We never use this one, the 90 degree. Okay, now let's go label our triangle. Now we know that the side opposite the 90 degree, that one is always called the hypotenuse. The one opposite the angle that we are using, that's called the opposite. And then the other side is what we call the adjacent. So what we do now is we realize that the, the side that we are looking for is the opposite. Okay, so go circle those or highlight those. And the side that we already have is the hypotenuse. Okay, so then you look at the sin, you look at cos, and you look at tan. Which one has most information? Well, that's going to be the sin. You see how we've highlighted both of those? So then what you're going to do is you're going to say sin. Now you always say the angle. Then you say um, what sin is. So sin is always equal to opposite. I'm, so, I'm actually just going to say op over hypotenuse. And now you're just going to go full in what you can. So the opposite is x. The hypotenuse is 5.6. Now, to get x by itself, you need to multiply. So you can do cross multiplication over here. So you can multiply the sin 22 and the 5.6. And you could multiply the 1 and the x. So that's going to be 5.6 sin 22 equals to x times 1, if you like. So I took that up that way, and I took that up that way. And so you should end up with x is equal to, now just go type this all on the calculator. And if you round off, that's going to be 2.1. Zero. Let's do some more examples now. So we start off with Sokotoa. And we go find the angle that they've given us, which is the 53. You go label your triangle now. So the side opposite the angle is always called the opposite. The side opposite the 90 is always called the hypotenuse. And then the other side is the adjacent. So what happens now is you need to go see what we have. So what we're looking for is the opposite. So that's, let's go highlight all of the opposites. What we already have is the hypotenuse. So that's that one, that one. So which of these has the most information? It's definitely sin again. So we could say sin. Now you always say the angle, 53, equals to the opposite over the hypotenuse. And so that's going to be opposite, which is x. Hypotenuse is 16. Then to get x by itself again, you can use cross multiplication. So you'd end up with 16 sin 53 equals to 1 times x. And so if you had to type in 16 sin 53 on your calculator, you're going to end up with x as 12,78. Okay, here's another example. So we start off with Sokotoa. Then what you do is you go find the angle that they've given you which is this one. Then go label your triangle. So the one opposite the angle is always called the opposite. 
the one opposite the 90 degree is always called the hypotenuse. And then the other side is your adjacent. Okay, so let's go see what we have now. So we're looking for x, which is the opposite, and we have the adjacent. So now we'll use tan, because that's got the most information. So you'd say tan of the angle equals to the opposite, which is x, over the adjacent, which is 7. Then use cross multiplication, so you'd end up with 7 multiplied by tan 49. 7 multiplied by tan 49. And then on the other side, you could just say x multiplied by 1. So go ahead, type in 7 tan 49 on your calculator. And you should get x equal to 8.05. Now, the next couple of, of examples are going to be quite good because the x is going to be in the denominator and not the numerator. So it's a little bit different. So we start. We always start by saying Sokotoa. Then we go and highlight the angle. Then we go fill in the rest of our triangle. So we know that the side opposite is called the opposite. The side opposite the 90 is called the hypotenuse. The other side is the adjacent. And now we just go see what we have. So we're looking for x, which is the hypotenuse, and we have the opposite. So then we would use sin, because that's got the most information. So we'd say sin of the angle, which is 53, equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so now I'll just go fill everything in. So sin 53 is equal to opposite, which is 8. Hypotenuse is x. And now just do cross multiplication. So this and this are going to go together. So x multiplied by sin 53 and then 8 multiplied by 1. Now to get x alone, you would have to divide by sin 53. And so this is one you want to make sure you can get to. And so if you had to go calculate that, you should find out that x. Now here you don't say shift or anything like that or second function or inverse you should get 10.02 as your value for x. Here's our next example. So start with Sokotoa, go to the angle, and then label everything. So this is your opposite. Then this opposite the 90 degree, that is your um, hypotenuse. And then the other side is your adjacent. Okay, so what we then realize is we have the hypotenuse. Okay, so let's go highlight that or circle that. We also are looking for the adjacent, so go circle that. So then we're going to use cos because that's got both pieces circled. So we're going to say cos of the angle, which is 64, equals to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so cos 64 is um, adjacent x over hypotenuse, which is 2. And just do cross multiplication now. So you end up with 2 cos 64 equals to 1 times x. And so x would be 0, 0,88. Here's our last example. So let's use Sokotoa. Let's go to the angle. And let's label. So this is the opposite because it's opposite the angle. Opposite the 90, that is called your hypotenuse. And then this is your adjacent. Now, let's see what we have. So we have, or well, we're looking for the hypotenuse, so go circle that. We have the adjacent, so um, circle that. And so we'd use this one because that's got the most information. So you'd say cos 63 equals to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cos 63 equals to adjacent, which is 10, over the hypotenuse. Now use cross multiplication. So you'd end up with x cos 63 equals to 10. And so if you had to get x by itself, you would have um, 10 over cos 63, because you have to divide by cos 63. And if you had to go calculate this, you end up with 22, 0, 3 as the answer.